Howdy everyone, so I'm just going to take us through a typical editing process for me after a photo shoot. The first thing that I do when it comes to editing is I download all of the pictures, obviously, onto the device that I'm using. It used to be my laptop, but now I've gotten an iPad that I do all of these things on and it's just easier to carry and bring with me, so now I use an iPad. Once they're all on my device, I upload all of them to Lightroom and then I begin my editing process. I'm the kind of editor that I like to cull through my photos as I edit them, so I won't just like look through all the photos to pick out the best ones. I'll go through them and put edits on them, and if I like them more than another shot that I have that looks very similar, then I will keep the edit on that and delete the other one that I don't want to use off of Lightroom. It won't be deleted off my computer, I just like to delete it off of Lightroom so it doesn't clutter up my area when I go to export any of my images. So by culling and editing at the same time, it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. Right now for my edits, I use a preset created by Trey Cockrum for Seek the Light. I am in the process of developing my own presets and learning more about tone curves and all that stuff. But it is definitely a process, and so I'm learning a lot of things right now. I'm um, trying to develop my own style similar to this one, but just a little bit different to kind of make it my own. And so after I apply this preset, I do have to adjust some little things because preset, even though it's kind of a universal edit, there are still some things that could be different with the settings on the camera in which you take the photos that you have to adjust. So I'll typically just adjust the exposure um, on every single photo and sometimes I'll have to look at the color balance. So after editing all the photos I will export them to my camera roll on my iPad so then I can upload all of them to the different places that I like to back them up. I put my photos first on a pixie set gallery that I can send to my client to make it easier for them to download high quality images and then I upload them to Google Photos um, as a way for me to get them from my iPad to my phone and all that stuff. And then I also upload them to my Passport hard drive um, just to have another place to back them up that has a lot of space on it and it just has all of my photos that I've ever taken on it right now. So now I'm going to take you guys through a little bit of editing some photos that I took of my friend Madison the other day. So I had already uploaded all of the photos of my friend Madison onto the mobile Lightroom app. Um, here I am just looking through these last little bit of photos, figuring out which ones I like, applying the preset, adjusting the exposure. I overexposed the images a little bit um, so they were bright in camera and I need to bring the exposure down to make them look better. Um, but yeah, so here I am just going through all the photos. I like to pick out the fun ones. I like to take a bunch of candid shots um, so people don't look as posed whenever I give them their pictures. I like a lot of movement. Um, you can see with like the hair flips and her just twirling back and forth in these. And also walking um, kind of in place a little bit is another prompt that I like to give. But as you can see with the edits, I just apply the preset and mostly just adjust the exposure um, with it. So yeah, oops, <laughs> got some text from a friend um, that just happened to pop in there, fun time. Um, yeah, so this one I actually had to bring the exposure up some because the lighting had changed, the direction of the sun was a little bit more behind Madison. So yeah, just adjusting the exposure again. So thanks you guys for watching. Um, this, is, this was just a little look into my editing process. Um, and if you have any questions or any suggestions on ways to make things easier for me, um, I'm glad to hear them all. So, thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!